wanted to show you guys something we have been working on over at Technical for a while that I think is pretty cool. In the Computer Business Kit, we have created fillable PDF versions of all our forms. What this means is if you choose to have a paperless office, then you can do it with the new kit. In this video, I have loaded the Business Kit forms onto my iPad via Dropbox, and I'll show you how to fill them out on the iPad itself. So here I have a backup checklist that's included in the Business Kit. I have edited the PDF on my PC previously and pre-filled the business name with some made up details which you can fill with your own real information. I then saved this form as an original unfilled copy so it already has my business information next time and add a client so I don't need to re-enter it again. In this video I am using the iPad app PDF Expert but you can use your own compatible PDF filling and signing app if you wish which may differ in features. I know for a fact there are a handful of decent ones for the Android. So let's get started. Imagine we are at a client's house and we're about to take our computer back to the workshop to have Windows reinstalled. Most clients will want you to back up their information and we want to make sure that we don't forget something ourselves. So let's go through the backup checklist with our imaginary client. So here on the iPad, we can enter an order number. Uh, if you're using invoicing software, you may want to enter the invoice number perhaps. We can enter the date. So I'm just going to make something up. We can enter the client's first name. I'm just going to do uh, Jane Smith. Her address is 123 Nose Street. Doesn't really matter. City, we'll just do Springfield and so on. Now with our client, we ask, what do you want to back up? Our Jane Smith may want her what's on her desktop backed up, her favorites, her My Documents, which is pretty common, and maybe the My Pictures because it's got all the happy snaps in it. She uses Google Chrome, so we'll back up Google Chrome and its favorites and its usernames and passwords. We can back up her email information, so again, it could be Jane Smith. Email address Jane Smith at gmail.com and so on. So you can fill out the incoming server, the outgoing server, whatever details you need to take down. We can fill out the wireless information and set up the network key so it's all up and running when we return the computer onto the next page. So here we can back up information like the drivers and the applications they have installed. So if they have some special hardware that we may have trouble getting drivers for, we can choose drivers. And they may want a Microsoft Office backed up. So Microsoft Office. And we we'll enter the key. Obviously this would actually be a real key. And did she provide us with the Microsoft Office CD? We'll just say yes. Any technician's notes. So for example, the laptop that she's providing us may already be scratched on the top. So we may take a note of that in case it comes up later and she accuses us of scratching the laptop. When we back up the data, we can back it up to a hard drive. And did she provide us with a hard drive? We'll just say no. Retain the data for one month so we can set a date. Um, so maybe 08, 14, 14. And here we have all the legalese, which is blurred out at the moment. And last but not least, we can get them to sign their signature on the iPad. So in this application, I just press, hold, signature, customer signature. And there we go, hand it over to the client. They can fill it out with their finger or a stylus, but in this video, we're just going to use a finger in case you haven't got a stylus, just to show it can be done. Then after that, you can save it locally, email it to yourself, save it to Dropbox. It all depends on the application you're using and what its capabilities are. Thank you for your time, and I hope you come check out the Technical Computer Business Kit. You can find a link to it below.